Hey, hello, namaste everybody. Welcome to Webtapmatics. Today I am back again with another series. It's been a while since I did some project based series. This time I decided to create a multi shop or multi seller e commerce website. So, yeah, this is kind of website that I'm going to build. So, this will have it is pretty much like a Amazon or any other multi seller website where uh, there is not only one seller like in most e-commerce series that you find on internet so this will be uh, you can have your own shop and the project will be like a mall it's like a mall and there will be separate shop installed by sellers all right so let's talk about prerequisite that i'm assuming that you know basic PSP and basic uh, object oriented programming and if you know basic of Laravel then it is totally fine but if not I will go in a slow pace then you might not have difficulty understanding so it will be kind of it will be for kind of like beginners and slightly more than beginners so let's talk a little bit, little bit more about uh, the project so I'll be not coding everything from scratch like HTML and CSS. I'll be using this ease on free multipurpose e-commerce. This is a really cool template. It got a lot of uh, designs. One is like so, another is like slightly different. You can get more home page from here for books for every kind of e-commerce. Yeah, so we might use some of design to install a separate shop for separate seller and yeah it's gonna be a fun series uh, le let me talk about uh, database schema that we are going to use before that I want to tell you that uh, about my setup so currently I'm using Windows 10 and I use Laragon to set the Laravel up so if you don't have these programs just install it so this is like a web server uh, uh, replacement for Apache, sorry, WAMP or Jam for Windows. So I'm assuming at this point you are um, pretty much okay with uh, setup stiffs. And next, let's uh, let's uh, discuss about the database schema. So I, I created some basic structure in MySQL Workbench. So we'll have these uh, relationship between different tables will have of course the product table and it will have the relationship like one to many with product images so that one product can have multiple images similarly for categories one product has many categories so categories and product will have many to many relationship so we'll discuss about this in detail I'm just uh, showing you the database schema for this project so that we can refer to it so once database is designed we can pretty much move faster we'll have the whole big picture about the project project so there will be a new table since this is multi seller or multi soft project there will be a shops table which which is related to users like user can have shop right so one can register as a seller account, one can register as normal user account. So when someone registered as seller account, he or she can create a new shop and then shop is uh, related with product. So in product table, we'll have the shop ID so that uh, to identify for, to identify the product of the particular shop. And moving on, what I will do is I will cover the basic features first so and we'll add more features later on yeah so as series progresses I'll add the more features to it first of all we'll go like normal flow like uh, without multi seller we'll go on flow of normal e-commerce first and then we'll add the feature to install a separate shop by the seller and we'll display the other seller products as well 
so all product will be displayed on home page or products catalog page we can also find the separate product in the particular shop of seller so th this is pretty much basic uh, overview about what we are going to create so i'm super excited to share uh, these new series of videos with you so hope you are excited to learn let's get started building e-commerce website from next video i'll see you i'll see you on next video bye